Hello everyone, this is Deception and welcome back to another video. I am going to be doing my first gaming guide video, so feedback will be appreciated in the comment section down below. I just started playing this fun hero shooter game called T3 Arena and it's actually fun and simple to play. Being a shooter game fan, I was able to quickly understand the basics and learn a few helpful tips that not every beginner in this game is doing. Or, if you're an experienced player struggling, these tips can help be helpful to you too. With these tips, your skill will improve quickly and you'll be able to climb the trophy world faster and become one of the top players with these simple tricks. So, here are 5 essential tips for beginners and experienced players to improve. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing or liking this. Let me know if you want to see similar videos or content like this. Moving on to tip number 1, which is to aim for the head. If you want to deal as much damage as possible, try to keep your crosshair up to the head level. For most of the heroes, within a few exceptions, including Jabili, headshot damage will deal twice as much damage compared to aiming to the body. I'll show you this in this next clip. Notice how I am dealing less damage when shooting to the body. Now, I am doing more damage when I am aiming for the head. Why damage means you are aiming for the body. Well, red damage means that you are damaging the head. Notice how whenever the damage counter is red, more damage is dealt compared to white. Knowing this, I recommend you to aim a little higher in order to finish off your opponents faster than they could kill you. Tip number 2 is to save gems for the season pass. T-gems is a type of currency used to purchase special offers, coins, boxes, skins, or heroes. They can also be used to unlock their premium pass in the season pass which grants you more rewards, and even a free hero and skins. As for now, the only way to obtain T-Gems is through the Battle Pass. In total, every Season Pass will give you 90 T-Gems if you obtain every reward in the free section. The Premium section costs about 169 T-Gems to unlock. So, you could purchase the Season Pass Premium after saving your gems for about 1-2 to two seasons. I highly recommend you to purchase this. The Season Pass with the Premium section unlock can give you a lot of good rewards compared to only purchasing items in the shop. So you should almost never try to purchase odd items or special deals in the shop, but rather save up your gems for the Premium Pass. Remember, patience and self-discipline can make you more successful compared to the average players. So good luck. Tip 3 is Angle Advantage. T3 Arena is a third person shooter. And a third person shooter game can give you a lot of advantages compared to playing in first shooter games. The main advantage given to you is angle advantage and peeking. Here's a clip. Notice how I can see an enemy by turning and adjusting my screen but the enemy cannot see me. Using this trick will help you to react and surprise your enemies before they can do anything or react faster than you can. Or you can use this tactic to reposition or be prepared to fight. This is really also useful for intel to gain information on where your enemies are without risking of having to actually fight and peek or reveal your location to do something. Keep that in mind so that you can get easier kills and that way you can outplay your opponents more efficiently. Tip number 4. Use abilities wisely. Mastering your own hero's kit or abilities can help you to win more battles and outplay your opponents more efficiently. Try to get an understanding of how a hero is played or what each ability and ultimate does. By doing so, you can learn how to make more creative plays and help improve your own game sense on a hero. For an example, look at this clip and notice how the victor used his dash ability to escape my bomb. This proves that you could think out the box when using your hero. Don't just use abilities based on how they're intended to play or how the developers meant them to be. You can use them creatively in any way possible. Use them to escape battles, win fights, sneak, hide, and more. Final tip of advice is to constantly reposition yourself. In a shooter game, it is recommended to always move to new areas or locations after getting a kill. This way, you'll be able to be more unpredictable. After getting a kill, make sure to always move to new areas and locations so that your enemies won't find you quicker than you can. This is also really helpful in case you're low on health, low on ammo, or don't have any teammates. Always make sure to group up with your teammates when repositioning because fighting as a team is stronger than fighting solo. 
If you're gonna constantly camp in the same spot, you may be more predictable to your enemies, leading to more deaths. So I really recommend you to do this. Well, this wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and taking the time to view every single tip of advice. If you didn't view every single tip, then that's okay. You as many tips as you want, as you have your own freedom to do what you need to do. Hope you guys will enjoy more uploads, and feedback from the comment section will be appreciated. Stay tuned for more uploads, and let me know what I should upload next. Peace. This is Deception.